believe me, it's not quite spring yet, but it sure feels like it. Some would argue it even feels kind of summer-like outside already. Oh, yeah. It does feel summer-like. <laughs> Pretty soon, students and teachers will be on spring break, and if you've got that itch to try something new, the Central Florida area has a wide range of festivals and performing arts events happening this month. Here now to give us some insight on what to check out, Cole Neesmith from the Creative City Project, and welcome back. Yeah, thank you. Always good to be here. It's great to get outside and enjoy mm, yes. so mm. many things on the weekend, yeah. but it's jam-packed in March. Yeah, there's so much going on uh, all across Central Florida, a lot of fun things happening. Because One of we, which, yeah. Yes, it's this the, weekend, right? Winter Park Sidewalk Art Festivals this weekend. One of the most fun festivals in the springtime. Yeah. Well, pre-springtime, pre. almost springtime. Mm -hmm. So close. <laughs> yeah, it's a juried art festival, which means they get tons of submissions. And then they pick the best of those submissions. Oh, love and then they put those submissions on display. Tons of booths all over mm -hmm. Central Park right there in downtown Winter Park. Lots of entertainment, of course, food. And so you can get out, take the family. Uh, see tons of art, mm -hmm. maybe buy some if you want, if you're looking for something for that, you know, bedside table or yeah. the, mm -hmm. the, the table in the middle of the living room, you can get some, uh, some affordable art there. Actually, there's kind of all kinds of art at all kinds of prices. Yeah, that's one yeah, thing that stood out to me at the uh, Sidewalk Art Festival last year was that there were things for 10 bucks and thousands of dollars. Of I mean, you could really gauge if you want to come out with something special, something unique, yeah. you could find something it's there. From yeah. jewelry yes. to artwork yes. to photographs, yeah. I mean, you name it. Yeah, and I like that there are also little places for children to make their own art. So we went in the fall, we mm -hmm. experienced that. And so cool. that's a good family event. Yeah, of course. Yeah, and it, you can go out and get some lunch or some mm -hmm. early dinner. It's nine to five Friday through Sunday. So yeah. you can spend as much time there as you'd like. And just be patient with parking. Yeah. Parking's it's always not the, a It's not the easiest, there. but. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. It's a great bike ride if you're close by. Y yes, yeah. it is. Yeah. Well, speaking of kids, there's Peter and the Wolf. Mm. That's right. Our friends at Orlando Ballet, always amazing programming. Yes. I find so many people who have never been to an Orlando Ballet show, and I highly recommend it. It's just a wonderful day out or evening out. It's going to be not this weekend, but next. They have two shows on Saturday and one on Sunday, and it's a family show. So this is their family weekend, Peter and the Wolf, a fun family show. And one of the beautiful things is that you can take a family of four for as little as $60. Oh, that's that nice. is nice. Why do you think a lot of people, you said you know so many people who've never been. Why do you think that is? You know, I think it's just uh, the, the mystery of theater, the mm -hmm. mystery of dance, the mystery of art. Sometimes it feels yeah. mysterious, which is why I love coming on here. Showing these videos gives yes. you a little glimpse of what it's like. If you've never been to the Dr. Phillips Center, that's where the ballet oh, performances so are. Beautiful. And it's, it feels really special to it get does. out and go to the Performing Arts Center. You get all yes. dressed up and go with yeah. your you know, go with your little ones and yep. have them all dress in their, in their Sunday's best. And yes. for this, they have two matinee shows, one on Saturday, one on Sunday, so you don't have to be out really late. You can mm -hmm. go in the afternoon and take the family. Or they do have a Saturday night show if you want to have a special night yeah. out. Work around nap time with those matinees. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> yes, and if you want to take a day trip, you've got a good suggestion for us. We have so many amazing museums here in Florida, and one of the best, I think, is over in St. Pete. It's the Dali Museum. Everyone raves about yes. it. Yes. It's such a great museum. Even you can see the architecture here. The outside of it, they have some beautiful gardens. They mm -hmm. have some of this really famous artwork by, I would say, one of the most famous you know artists of our time. Mm -hmm. Right here in Florida, one of the largest collections, if not the largest collection of Dali work uh, in the world. And the building is really wonderful. You, they have a, a garden maze you can walk through and these melting clocks, you know, these famous Dali mm -hmm. things. Mm -hmm. And then they have some fun things on the weekends for families. You talked about in Winter Park, the hands-on arts experiences. Yeah. They have some of that programming. And then they have some, some fun stuff for adults, too. Not this Thursday, but next. They have the Belgian Beer and Bites Festival. Ooh. So you can go and see the art, get some, some fun yeah. drink and some fun food. So it's a day trip, a night trip. You can get back to St. Pete, over and back to St. Mm -hmm. Pete from Central Florida pretty easily. Yeah, it's fabulous. And they have yeah. a Chihuly exhibit right now, too. They yeah. do. Who's the famous glass artist. There's mm. a Chihuly piece right in the main lobby of the Orlando Museum yeah. of Art, if you've been there. And, um, yeah, there's, Chihuly is just a fun artist, and they have a lot of his artwork yeah, there so right cool now, to too. See. Awesome. Yeah. Well, so much going on. Yeah. We'll put it all there on clickorlando.com. Cool. Thank you. Good yeah. to see you, Cole. Yep.